Those are the new nanomorph anamorphic lenses from Laoa, but this time they are for large format cameras. You have the 32, 42, 55, 85. Let's dive into it and learn more. You're watching Synity, supported by B and H and CVP. Hi, I'm Johnny from Synity, and I'm here with Marcus from Laoa. Marcus, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, you know, it's always good to see you, Johnny. You know, after all this year, thank you for your support over at Laoa. You are too kind with words, but very nice to see you too. <laughs> good. We nicely greeted each other, and now it's time to talk about new nanomorph lenses that you have. Yes. Nanomorph. Those are maybe the lenses for me. You know, I mean, if you... Small size, small size, everything fine. Yeah, good. What is so special about Nanomorph? Because you already have some Nanomorph in the market. So what about those ones? Uh, that's right. Uh, so this is the Nanomorph uh, LF uh, 1.5X Anamorphic Series. So you know, uh, you may know our Nanomorph from the Super 35 Series that is already established. Uh, we are now setting up to the game, setting up the game by introducing a large format uh, uh, anamorphic lenses, which means uh, it can cover not only full frame but a little bit over uh, to the Alexa Mini LF in terms of their open gate format, like 4.5K 3 by 2 open gate format. So that's giving uh, the DPs and cinematographers a really, really great image coverage. So those are, as you said, uh, anamorphic lenses. 1.5 is the squeeze factor? Yes. Uh, so uh, 1.5 is a squeeze factor. And across the uh, focus range, uh, we also have a very constant uh, 1.5x squeeze. And they are all front anamorphic, so you can produce a really good uh, flare and an awful bouquet in the background. Some of our audience might not really be aware we see 32 42 55 85 but when you think about this like 32 and 42 for some of the people it will look like a very close number mm. so obviously the question will be why do you manufacture something so close to in, in terms of focal length what's the reason well i would say is actually work similar to some lenses like 28 millimeter or 35 millimeter some people ask a lot about oh, why do you produce like a 28 millimeter or 35 millimeter uh, in terms of spherical prime lens. It's actually working similar to 32 and 42. It's just the a little bit wide angle of view is actually matters a lot. When you want that a little bit of details in a frame, uh, you will use the 32. But if you want to have a little bit tighter, but not too tight like the 55, you will use the 42. So all these lenses across them, uh, from the 32 to 85, it actually can produce a wide angle of view to a telephoto angle of view without problems. So these lenses are really great. How about the mount that those lenses uh, have? Because I can see here, what, is that a PL mount? Yes. Is that the, will be the, the, the only mount, or you would produce those with different mounts? Uh, so uh, we will have RPL mount, Canon EF, uh, Sony E, Canon RF, Nikon C, DJI DL, and L mount as well. So to cover all the mirrors as well as the PLDF uh, sensor format. Please don't consider me rude, but I would really like to understand. It's not that all of those manufacturers that you just uh, mentioned have a large format cameras. So why to produce such a wide range of mounts? Um, well, uh, it's because uh, we would like to, you know, provide uh, to our audience a, uh, as much as uh, the sensor coverage as possible. That's why we are producing a large format uh, nanomorph anamorphic series uh, to DPs and filmmakers for them to be used on their, not only just their uh, uh, cameras but uh, some professional cameras like the RE they can still be used as well so we would like to see if they would like to use this kind of lenses on their commercial work music video or some action work as well because these lenses are really compact with around 900 grams so these are really really great for you to do uh, some action films without problems and what is the front diameter um, um, image circle here okay so uh, we will have a 77 filter thread diameter with the front diameter in uh, 80 millimeter. And these lenses is actually just like our Nanomorph Super 35 uh, series. Uh, they will also provide in uh, three different flare options, the amber, blue, and silver, in which uh, people may know that our silver flare can be uh, changed to other 
colors of flare according to the color of the light source. So it's particularly great for TPs or cinematographers to have different artistic styles. How about pricing and availability? Uh, these lenses will be available uh, in Q4 2024 with around US dollars, $2,000 as the price tag. Will you sell it only individually or also as a kit? Uh, we will sell different bundles uh, as a kit as well, but the price information is a little bit too early to tell, but more information will be available on our social media as, as well as our website, so stay tuned. Out of curiosity, since nobody is really listening, okay. only for lenses in this family or you're already planning more? And if you are, please make it a little bit wider. Well, that is a very interesting concept. I would say we are always uh, interested in making different focal lengths to cater to the um, uh, you know, ideas of different filmmakers to, for them to solve their uh, different kind of problems. So we are definitely interested on doing that. Yeah. I love the diplomacy sometimes. It's really great. You should be a politician, I tell you, not selling lenses. But anyway, of course, I understand. Good. Uh, so we talked about the, the weight. How about minimum uh, focus here on, with those lenses? Because with many of the existing uh, anamorphic lenses, it's always an issue. You need adapters and so on. What is the, mini the, minimum, the minimum focus length here? Okay, so the minimum focusing distance we can see here is actually about to 0.49 meters. So it equals to one, feet, uh, one foot seven inches. So it's getting pretty, uh, pretty close. Uh, if you're doing some uh, very extreme close-up or even some close-up, it can still gives a really good uh, bokeh and our focus area it would be very organic in the, our focus area so it's really good if you are doing different kinds of shots not only just for macro uh, not only just for close-up but also for a wide angle like an establishing shot this different kind of shots Marcus last question I promise okay. those are nanomorph yes. but you already have the nanomorph the super 35 yes. why to call um, you know, Nanomorph, one family Super 35, I understand, and I'll, th those are LF. Yes. Why, why actually to call um, the lenses in a similar name? Because it might confuse people a little bit, mm. or what do you think? So, uh, we are thinking in a very unconventional way. Uh, we think that uh, Nanomorph is actually combined with two words, which is Nano and Morph. Morph which means uh, anamorphic. So we are trying to see, uh, place our concept into these lenses to be very tiny anamorphics to our audience. That's why we have the nanomorph as a series, not only just to the uh, Super 35 series, but also the LF series. That's why uh, we are still calling nanomorph is because we are even making large format anamorphic lenses in 1.5 axis squeeze very tiny and very compact as much as possible. So why not Johnny Morph? Look, it just described. Everything, but that could be maybe the, okay, just to consider. <laughs> okay. Marcus, thank you very much. Uh, before I thank you, did I miss something? Anything you want to add? Um, no, um, if, you know, just finalize, you know, uh, please stay tuned on our social medias. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, send an email to uh, support and contact uh, at finasense.net. We will definitely have someone to answer your question. Yeah. Thank you very much. So now, really, thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.